Five Pillars to Good Health, Looking at Things from a Functional Perspective. And I want to take a minute to speak with you about functional medicine. It's a buzzword. What's it mean? What's it all about? It means looking at underlying causes, root causes. When I approach functional medicine, there's five pillars I look for. One is food. Are you eating good organic food that's not full of chemicals, pesticides, whole foods, things like that? Number two, sleep quality. Do you got some? Are you getting good sleep? Do you have the electronics out of your room, going to bed, getting up at the same time? That's the second pillar. You're looking at good sleep hygiene, and if that's disrupted, you're finding out why that is the case. Third thing is exercise. With that, you want to be able to have aerobics, strength, and flexibility. The thing is, you got to find the sweet spot. Is it 4,000 steps, 7,000 steps? Not really sure, but we know there's lots of steps there, and we know that you want to have a combination of aerobic strength and flexibility. So that's really important. The thing is, you want it sustainable. So good luck. Find what you like to do and keep doing it. So that's three things. The fourth thing is grounding. Get connected to the earth. Take your shoes off, walk in the grass or buy something that allows you to get connected directly to DC current, which is what the Earth's current is versus the alternate current, which comes through all of our electrical outlets. That helps your body detoxify, decompress, everything gets quieted down by connecting electrically to the Earth. That's what we call grounding, very interesting. And then the last thing, the fifth pillar is beliefs. What's your belief system? Spirituality, religion, where do you get your strength from? And knowing that the body has the inherent capacity to heal, how do you approach that? Five pillars to good health, looking at things from a functional perspective.